Hey everyone, my name is Rob with DeWalt Anchors and Fasteners. Today we're going to walk through how to install DeWalt AC200 Plus acrylic adhesive with threaded rod. Please note that this is not a substitute for the product instruction manual. All users of the product need to read the instruction manual prior to any installation of DeWalt anchoring systems. The first thing we'll discuss is personal protective equipment, known as PPE. Always wear all the appropriate ANSI or NIOSH rated PPE. Reference the DeWalt instruction manual as well as your company safety guidelines to determine the appropriate PPE depending on the tool, anchor, and the application you'll be doing. When installing DeWalt anchors, it's important to always wear eye protection, gloves, and other appropriate PPE, and to use the proper dust extraction equipment. The first step is to drill a hole into the base material with a rotary hammer drill and a carbide drill bit to the size and the embedment depth required by the selected steel hardware element. The tolerances of the carbide drill bits, including hollow bits, must meet the ANSI standard B212.15. In the case of standing water in a drilled hole, such as a flooded hole condition, all the water must be removed from the hole using a vacuum or compressed air prior to cleaning. When drilling in the dry base material, we recommend using a hollow drill bit and the DeWalt DWV-012 dust extractor. This is the DustX Plus extraction system. This will eliminate any further hole cleaning. If you're not using the DustX Plus extraction system or have a hole with standing water, you're going to use the blow and brush method. Start by cleaning the hole from the bottom or the back of the anchor hole. First, blow the hole clean with compressed air to a minimum of two times. If the back of the drill hole is not reached, an extension shall be used. The brush diameter of the drilled hole can be determined by referring to the hole cleaning equipment selection table in your instruction manual. Brush the hole by hand or attach a brush with an adapter to a rotary drill tool. Brush the hole with the selected wire brush a minimum of two times. A brush extension must be used for a drilled hole depth greater than six inches or 150 millimeters. These extensions can be found in the instruction manual. The wire brush diameter must be checked periodically during use. The brush should resist insertion into the drilled hole. If not, the brush is too small and must be replaced with the proper brush diameter. Finally, blow the hole clean again with compressed air to a minimum of 90 PSI or six bar, a minimum of two times. If the back of the drill hole is not reached again, an extension must be used. When finished, the hole should be clean and free of dust, debris, ice, grease, oil, or any other foreign material. Before applying adhesive, always check the adhesive expiration date on the cartridge label. Do not use any expired products. Be sure to review the safety data sheets, known as SDS, before using. It's also important to review the published gel times or sometimes referred to as the working times as well as the cure time. Cartridge adhesive temperatures must be between 41 and 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 to 40 degrees Celsius when in use. However, for installations in base material temperatures between 14 and 23 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 10 to negative 5 degrees Celsius, then the cartridge adhesive temperature must be conditioned to 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius at a minimum. Consideration should be given to the reduced gel or working time of the adhesive in warm temperatures. For the permitted range of base material temperature, see the published gel and cure times. Attach the mixing nozzle that is supplied with the cartridge. Unless otherwise noted in the instruction manual, do not modify the mixer in any way and make sure that the mixing element is inside the nozzle. Load the cartridge into the correct dispensing tool. Always use a new mixing nozzle with a new cartridge of adhesive. This also applies for all work interruptions that exceed the published gel or working time of the adhesive. Prior to inserting the threaded rod into the filled hole, the position of the embedment depth must be marked on the anchor. Also be sure to verify that the anchor element is straight and free of surface damage. Adhesive must be properly mixed to achieve the published properties. Prior to dispensing adhesive into the drilled hole, separately dispense at least three full strokes of the adhesive through the mixing nozzle until the adhesive is consistently gray in color. Prior to injection of the mixed adhesive into a clean anchor hole, review and note the published gel or known as working time along with the cure times. To install the threaded rod, start from the bottom or the back of the anchor hole 
and fill the cleaned hole approximately two thirds full with mixed adhesive. Slowly withdraw the mixing nozzle as the hole fills to avoid creating any air pockets or voids. A plastic extension tube or equivalent recommended for this application by DeWalt must be used with mixing nozzles if the bottom or the back of the anchor hole is not reached with the mixing nozzle. In this case, attach a piston plug to the extension tube. This applies to overhead installations and installations in concrete with anchors larger than half an inch between horizontal and overhead applications. Also, installations in drilled hole depths greater than 10 inches or 250 millimeters. Again, insert the piston plug to the back of the drilled hole and inject as previously described. During installation, the piston plug will naturally extrude from the drilled hole by the adhesive pressure. In the case that flexible tubing is being used, the mixing nozzle may be trimmed at the perforation on the front port before you attach the tubing. Verify that the mixing element is inside the nozzle before using. Be sure not to install anchors in an overhead or upwardly inclined application without the proper installation hardware and training certification. Contact DeWalt for the details prior to use in these types of applications. The anchor should be free of dirt, grease, oil, water, or any other foreign material. Push the clean threaded rod into the anchor hole while turning slightly to ensure positive distribution of the adhesive until the embedment depth is reached. Observe the working or sometimes referred to as the gel time. Ensure that the anchor element is installed to the specific embedment depth. Adhesive must completely fill the annular gap of the concrete surface. After installing the anchor element, remove the excess adhesive. Protect the anchor element threads from fouling with adhesive. For all installations, the anchor element must be restrained from movement throughout the specified curing period. Use temporary wedges, external supports, or other methods as needed. Minor adjustments to the position of the anchor element may be performed during the gel or working time only. Prior to applying any load, allow the adhesive anchor to cure to the specified full curing time. Be sure to reference the gel and curing timetable in the instruction manual. Do not disturb, torque, or load the anchor until it is fully cured. Once the anchor is fully cured, a fixture can be installed to the anchor and tightened to the maximum torque by using a calibrated torque wrench. Be sure not to exceed the maximum torque for the selected anchor you'll be using. That's it. You're now ready to install DeWalt AC200 Plus Acrylic Adhesive.